we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today, we celebrate the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of Blessed Virgin Mary. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserve her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, 
because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has drawn wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made His salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed His justice. He has remembered His kindness and His faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous things. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous things. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for He has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before Him. In love He destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the Beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will so that we might exist for the praise of His glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting these might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, 
you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be? Since I have no relations with a man. And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived the son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat at maligayang pagdating dito po sa simbahan ng Manawag. Ngayong araw po nito, ating ginugunita ay naaalala o pinagdiriwang ang dakilang kapistahan ng Imaculada Concepcion na kung saan si Maria ay ipinanganak na walang bahid kasalanan. Bakit po natin ito inaalala? Dahil ito po ay katuparan ng pangarap. Minsan pong nangarap ang Panginoon. Ang Panginoon ang siyang nangarap. Kailan? Kung mapakinggan niyo po yung binasa sa unang pagbasa, sa aklat ng Henesis, nung si Eva ay nagkasala, pati na rin si Adan, nagalit ang ating Panginoon. At nangusap siya doon sa ahas. Anong sinabi ni Yahweh? Doon sa ahas, sabi niya, kayo ng babae, aking pag-aawayin. Binhi mo at binhi niya'y aking paglalabanin. Ang binhi niya ay dudurog sa iyong ulo at sa sakong niya'y ikaw ang tutuklaw. Pag-aawayin daw ng Yahweh ang babae at yung ahas. Yung ahas sumisimbolo sa demonyo. Pero sino yung babae na kanyang pag-aawayin? Sino yung babae na magmumula sa kanya ang kaligtasan? Yung babae na sa kanya magmumula ang dugo at katawan ng anak ng Diyos. Yun ay walang iba kundi si Maria. Kaya nga, makikita ninyo sa mga picture ng Immaculada Concepcion, Tinan niyo po yung Immaculada Concepcion. Meron siyang apak-apak na ahas. Napansin niyo po ba? O kaya yung Miraculous Medal. Yung icon na yun, si Maria, tinatapakan niya yung ahas. Dahil patungkol yun dito. Sa pangarap ng ating Panginoon. At sinasabing si Maria, ay ang bagong Eva. At si Jesus, ang bagong Adan. Kahit na sa naunang panahon, yung ating mga church fathers, yun ang kanilang mga isinulat. Kung sa pagsuway ni Eva, nagkaroon ng kamatayan, sa pagtalima ni Maria, nagkaroon ng kaligtasan. At doon mas naging higit si Maria kay Eva. 
at hinandayo ng ating Panginoon. Nangarap siya na magkakaroon ng isang babae na doon magmumula ang kaligtasan. Kaya nga po, ang tagal dumating ni Maria sa panahon ni Adan at Eva, doon sinabi ni Yahweh na magkakaroon ng babae na sa kanya magmumula ang kaligtasan. Pero sa bagong tipan lang, dumating si Maria. Ilang saling lahi ang hinintay ng ating Panginoon para magkaroon ng isang babaeng tatalima sa kanyang kagustuhan. Ang tagal naghintay ng Diyos mula kay Abraham papunta kay David ilang salin lahi yun. Kay David papunta sa mga Babylonia ilang salin lahi. After ng Babylonian exile papunta sa kanya ang tagal kaya't ang tagal naghintay ng ating Panginoon para sa isang babae. At sa kanyang paghihintay, God made Mary as perfect as He could. Alam niyo po, sa Biblia, sa lumang tipan, mayroong dalawang tao na ipinanganak o ginawa na walang bahid kasalanan. Kung babasahin niyo sa Biblia, hindi lamang si Jesus ang ipinanganap na walang kasalanan. Sa lumang tipan, merong dalawa. Sino yon? Si Adan at si Eva. Ginawa sila ng ating Panginoon na walang kasalanan. Pero dumating sa kanila ang pagkakasala sa pamamagitan ng pagsuway. Ngayon kung si Maria at si Jesus ay ang bagong Eva at Adan, Gagawin ng ating Panginoon na mas higit pa silang dalawa kaysa sa doon sa una. Kasi kung kapantay lamang sila, anong saysay? That's why God made Mary as perfect as He could. Nangarap siya ng isang babaeng napaka-perfecto. Bagamat siya isang tao, hindi siya nagkasala. Sa una pa lamang, sinagip na siya ng ating Panginoon sa pagkakasala. Parang vaccine lang yan. Meron nag-imbento, wala, wala pa yung sakit. Pero nakaimbento na ng isang doktor, ng isang bakuna, na kanyang itinurok doon sa tao. Pagkatapos dumating yung virus, nasa gitna una yung kanyang tinurukan ng vaccine. Pero yung iba, nagkasakit na muna, saka naturukan ng vaccine. Parang ganun ang nangyari kay Maria. Sinagip na muna siya bago pa siya magkasala. At yun ang ating inaalala ngayon ng ating Maria na bagong Eva, na masigit pa kay Eva, ay ginawang perfecto, as perfect as God could. Bagamat siya ay tunay na tao. Bakit ganun ginawa ng Panginoon? Dahil sa Kanya magmumula ang Kanyang anak. Kung sa Kanya magmumula ang anak ng Diyos, kung sa Kanya manggagaling ang dugo at laman ng anak ng Diyos, God will make that woman as perfect as she could. At yun ang ating inaalala ngayon. Yun ang ating sineselebrate ngayon. Nasa pagtalima ni Maria sa kanyang oo, nagkaroon ng kaligtasan. Binago niya ang historia nang ginawa ni Eva na sa kanyang pagsuway nagkaroon ng kamatayan. Pero kung mapapansin natin ulit doon sa icon, nung tinatapakan ni Maria yung ahas, anong sinabi dito? Ang binhi niya ay dudurog sa iyong ulo 
at sa sakong niya ay ikaw ay tutuklaw kung makamandag yung ahas. Tutuklawin ng ahas yung binhi ni Maria na si Jesus. At yun nga ang nangyari. Dahil ano ang nangyari? Si Jesus ay namatay. Kaya kung mapapansin ninyo, yung ahas na tinatapakan, medyo nakakawala yung ulo. Dahil siya ay tutuklaw. At tinuklaw niya si Jesus. Kaya nga, Jesus died. But that is the same way how to destroy death. God gave death to death itself. Binigyan ng ating Diyos ang kamatayan ng kamatayan. At yun ay nagsimula sa pamamagitan ng oo ni Maria. Kaya nga hindi po magiging madali ang pagiging ina ng Diyos, ang kanyang pagiging walang bahid kasalanan because she too will suffer. Kung maaalala ninyo, when, Jesus and jo- when Mary and Joseph presented Jesus in the temple, meron dalawang propeta doon. Isa doon si Simeon. Sinabi, Behold, this child is destined for the fall of many, Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself, a sword will pierce, so that the thought of many hearts may be revealed. Matatarakan ng espada ang puso ni Maria. Kaya nga, meron tayong seven sorrows of Mary. Hindi ganun kadali ang kanyang pagiging masunurin. She will suffer. She will cry. She will experience many sorrows. But, he, but she endured the pain. And God prepared her for these things. Ang pangarap ng Diyos ay natupad sa pamamagitan ng isang babae. Ang pangarap niya ay natupad. But then, when we come to think of it, Jesus or God has also dreams for us. Bawat isa sa atin, nangangarap din ng Diyos sa iyo. Nangangarap din siya para sa buhay mo. Because God made you as perfect as He could. Ika pa nga, God has made us in His own image and likeness. He made you look like Him. Kaya't nangangarap din ang ating Panginoon na sana one day you will also give your fiat to Him. Let it be done according to your word. At maghihintay ang Diyos kagaya ng Kanyang paghintay kay Maria. Kahit ilang salin lahi, she will, He will wait naghihintay siya na sana darating yung panahon kahit matagal that you will also follow Him na kahit merong pagsubok na darating sa buhay kahit iiyak ka kahit masasaktan ka you will also follow Him Nangangarap lang ang Diyos because He will not force you. He has given you freedom, your free will. Pero sana, yung Kanyang binigay 
ay babalik mo para sa Kanya. And what will happen when you follow Him? Kagaya ng galak ni Maria. Minsan, umawit pa si Maria, The Lord has done great things for me and holy is His name. Makikita mo sa buhay mo that God will do great things for you. At bibigyan mo siya ng papuri. You will worship Him with all your heart because you know how good is the Lord to you who follow Him. Nangangarap ang Diyos. At kaya nating tuparin ang pangarap na iyon. Kung may pangarap kayo sa inyong mga anak, sa inyong sarili, sana isama nyo rin yung pangarap ng Diyos para sa iyo, para sa ibang tao. Remember His dream for you. Please all stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. In her Immaculate Conception, Mary is revealed as the second Eve. She is God's new beginning for our race. As we honor her today, let us join her in prayer to our Father and Creator. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Church may grow towards the perfection of Mary, our destiny and our hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through prayer and penance, the world may enter an age of peace, which is the triumph of Mary's heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the pure of heart may promote decency and harmony throughout society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Mary, who is full of grace, may help us on our pilgrimage. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may rejoice forever in the company of Mary and the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our personal intentions, the intentions of this Mass, for all those whom we promise to pray, and the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father and Creator, hear us as we pray with the Immaculate Ever-Virgin Mary, chosen before the world she made to be the mother of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
bless you, Lord. God of all creation. Put your goodness. We have received the birthday of faith. Put the earth into human hands. It will become the bread of life. Bless you, Lord. 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 Bless you, Good as a time, right in the middle. It will be fun. Our spirit will be fun. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that, as we profess her on account of your prevenient grace, to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession, we may be delivered from all our faults through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you preserve the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb, who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy, we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples saying 
Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. In the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Call me. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. May this mingling the Father. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe to eternal life. Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, 
heal us. Heal in us the wounds of that fault from which, in a singular way, you preserve Blessed Mary in her Immaculate Conception. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa banal na misa. At patuloy po nating ipagdasal ang isa't isa. Mag-ingat po kayo saan man kayo papunta. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosary candles, oils and images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.